Hold on. Make it quick. I'm busy. Indeed it did. Our insider delivered in a big way. As for you, the baseline expectation around here is to surpass every expectation. So from the bottom of my ass, welcome to the team. I'm not in the business of discussing my personal views on team members to subordinates. Anything else? Negative. Even at this size, Perseus could catch our scent on the wind and try to relocate. In this scenario, less is more. Plan A is Agent Azalei. We didn't pick Lazar for his charisma. He's an expert in bomb defusal. If it's live and he can't disarm it, he's still gonna get that nuke out of there. Bring a change of pants. It's as good as it's gonna get. The intelligence community has spent years trying to track Perseus to a concrete location. This guy lives between the lines of recorded history. Nothing would put a bigger smile on my face than you personally putting him down. The projector's in the back corner if you need to go over any details from the briefing. I'm back. Go on. Look alive. It's Adler's protege. Bell. Are you fucking serious right now? Don't get him started. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, let me set the record straight. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, Castro and I have some history between us. I had the opportunity to off the man, but our intel was flubbed. That's in a tidal wave of shit all the way up to DC. So if I find out that Perseus is in cahoots with Castro, and Hudson happens to find one of my bullets in Fidel's head? Well, I say chalk it up to collateral damage. Huh. Kept it under five minutes. I was expecting a diatribe. No, we were after a different spy in case, huh? Huh, that's right. Our team was right next to Adler's when we touched down in Way City. That's also the first time I had the misfortune of meeting Hudson. In all those years, nothing's changed. He still has the personality of a wet fucking blanket. Yeah, well, you just snuck into the KGB with Adler, packed their database, and got out in one piece. And I'll be going in with my boy here. If I were Perseus, I'd be running for the hills. And I'd be calling in a mortar strike on that hill. Yeah, for Adler, it's a culmination of three decades of meticulous tracking. Woods, yeah. He'll probably be extra pissy on this mission. I advise you to stay focused and drop the nostalgia. Good. Then you're ready. <laughs> you hear that? We're fucking legends. Yeah. yeah. Wherever we go, we bring the thunder. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. You seem pretty unimpressed over in Fake Town, USA. Or, are you talking about Mason right now? As I live and breathe. Yep. Later, Bell.
Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love, we're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Park, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go! Do the honors, Bill.
take your team right. Copy. What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. I love a reward. They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Park. It's quiet all of a sudden. Stay sharp. Contact! Fuck! Is everyone all right? Bell, sweep for mines. Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park.
Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Daddy! Someone's killing the scientists! Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs, let's move! Get you there, Bark! Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Bark? Bell, use the C4. Bell canvas the room. Hastings, start talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. He escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to Greenland. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go, no? Contact! Chopper coming in low! It's gotta be Perseus! All teams head to the roof! Move! Move! And are we gonna shift our reinforcements? Clear! Out of the way! Adler, I got eyes on an HVT. South rooftop. Could be Perseus. He's climbing into a chopper. Take him out! Ah, the window! Out the window! Ah. Bell, let's go! Go, Bell! Fuck me, the chopper 
Something worth life. Ground team, this is Skyhook. The zone is hot as hell. You lend an assist. That would be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help is on the way. Ground team, on my Roger that. Clearing the roof now. Good impact. Now! We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! Take cover! Shit! Bell? Ah! Ground team, My legs. contact at T minus 10. Go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. Bell. I feel 
like I owe you. Bloody hell. We're going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping curses. You always have to. No more half assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Do the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. 